Nice to be back on YouTube today. Um, July 4th weekend, beautiful Monday out here this afternoon. And we're going to talk about four things today. Number one, the rear hatch. What's going on with the rear hatch in the 2023 model C8 Corvette? I'm going to talk about that. We'll talk about the future of Corvette. What's coming in the future? What are some of the cars that are lined up? I think you'll be interested in that. Also, we're going to talk about E85 gas. The gas with 15% ethanol in it. What the heck's going on with the gas? And then finally, the fourth thing we're going to talk about is we're going to have a beat the heat, meet and greet. Brownwood Paddock Square on July 9th. That's this coming Saturday. And we're going to go from 8 to 10 in the morning. 8 to 10 in the morning. So hope to see you all there. Now let's get on with the video. So the talk is about the rear hatch. And I'm going to show you a little bit about the rear hatch. If you go over here, right down here into your door, there's a little button right here. One hit. That does the front up front. And this does the rear hatch in the back. So I'm going to press that. And... That opens the rear hatch. All right, that works fine, huh? Then they have another one. It's right under here. And if I push that, that opens too. So now I'll take our key fob, and you can see the rear hatch right there. You're going to double tap that, and that opens the rear hatch, okay? Now there's a fourth way, emergency way, I guess you'd call it, if you were, uh, you know what I'm thinking of, let's say if you were in an accident or um, something like that where your car was immobilized and the battery was not working, uh, how do you get the back hatch open? It's a kind of a rare instance, but it could be an instance and um, you would want to be able to get in here and you can. And I'll show you, I'm going to take the key out of my key fob. You know there's a key there, right? You all know that. Let me, uh, there's, there's the key. I'm taking it out here. Now, I'm not going to do it, but you take, you take this key and you stick it in here, okay? You stick the key in there and turn it and it pops the hatch, okay? You can try it at home. You can do this at home and you don't have to be afraid to do it, but that'll do it. Now, the story that's come out, which I hope is not true, but it sounds like it's true, is that this access is going to be taken away. So in other words, you're not going to have, you're not going to have this access down here anymore. So, you know, I'm going, what the heck, why are they doing that? And, uh, let me just get this key back in here. So, why are they doing that? I don't know why they're doing that. Nobody seems to know. There's got to be a reason. It's probably financial. I would imagine it's something financial that they're doing. We have the same three options to open the front. And that fourth option that we have back here, the front has the fourth option, which I showed you in a previous video, down uh, by the uh, brake pedal. There is a little ring that you can put your finger on and pull it and it will mechanically open up the front. That's being taken away in the rear hatch. Now I'm I'm not an engineer. I never went to engineering school. I went I was a chem major. I was not an engineer. But if you look at why wouldn't you put a little release somewhere down in here? or maybe under the fender, hide it somewhere, somewhere inside the car, where you could mechanically open this front, like we've been able to do with the 2000, 2001, and 2002 C8 Corvette. But I'm told the C8, the 2023 C8 Corvette ain't gonna have this. Personally, I would strongly recommend General Motors reconsider the decision not to put this on the car. I think it should be on the car. I just, it's a Corvette. It's not a Yugo, you know, it's not a crap box. It's a high-end, beautiful car, and those kinds of things should be on the car. 
And, and I don't think there's any reason to take it away, I, unless it's financial. I mean, are they that strapped? Are they that hard pressed for money? I mean, they're getting, they're getting good money for their cars right now, and they're getting a good value, and it's a good value. But don't take the value away from a great car. Gasoline, E85. You know, it goes right in the gas tank there. You know what all this is about. Okay. So what do we think? Well, <laughs> E85 means it's about 15% uh, uh, ethanol. And if it's 15% ethanol, I'll show you on the screen, on the manual, it only says that you're supposed to use 15 a uh, maximum of 15% ethanol. Would I use 15% ethanol in my car? No. Um, but the EPA is starting to make rules, and what makes me nervous even more than that is when the EPA makes rules, they're not supposed to. Congress is supposed to make the rules, uh, not the government. If the government is making the rules, then it's called a what? A dictatorship. You got it. That's right. So we don't want that. I don't think. I don't want it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they're fooling around back with the 85 again, so let's see what happens on that. Be careful when you go in and buy gas because I don't think they're going to uh, announce it as much. So make sure that when you go and buy some gas for your lovely car that you carefully check to make sure what the ethanol content is of the gas and if it's 10% it's okay, 15% I wouldn't buy it. So what's next for the Chevrolet Corvette? Where are we going with this beautiful, beautiful car? Uh, what, what, well, we know right now there's a 670 uh, horsepower uh, C8 Z06 Corvette that's going to hit the deck any day now. In fact, we might even learn the price one of these days. <laughs> Oh, where they are? Where are they with the price? Come on, guys. It's got to be out in the next week or two, I hope. And also, orders should be static. But you know, there's a lot of things going on. There's, uh, you know, like they can't get transistors and uh, microchips and yada, yada, yada. This can't, this isn't available, that isn't available. So they get a myriad of uh, pretty good excuses why the car's not showing up. But anyway. So what happens after the Z06 Corvette? We're going to talk about the E-Ray. They've already announced it's going to be out next year. You saw the video. The video was amazing. The car's going around. It's, there was a snow cover on the ground, and you could see the front wheels spinning. What the heck does that mean? You know what that means? That means they got electric motors up front. And the regular C8 Corvette engine in the back. So what's with that? Well, that's going to be pretty interesting. And uh, so what are you going to have to do? Plug this in? Is it a, you know, you're going to have to plug it in at night to keep the battery, you know, the batteries charged in the electric motors? No, I don't think so. I think what they're going to do is regenerate uh, when there's braking and things like that. Uh, so the, the, that's one way to, one way to uh, uh, regenerate the batteries in the front wheels of the car. But I think, secondly, they're going to have an alternator running off the mid-engine, and the alternator is going to help replenish the electricity in the batteries, and I think that's the way. I think. I'm just, you know, speculation here. I think that's what they're going to do, and that car's going to be pretty nice. It's going to be around 650 horsepower, but it's got to scoot like crazy. I mean, you're going to get beat on the launch with that thing every time with those all-wheel drive, basically all-wheel drive. It's going to be pretty impressive. So. That car is going to be fun, and that's supposed to be out next year. And there's a, probably a lot of guys thinking, you know something, maybe I want to wait and get that one with the electric front wheels, because that car's going to go like snot, and it's going to handle like crazy, too. Or maybe I should be looking and pushing my uh, deposit up to the E-Ray. Who knows? I don't know. A lot of questions here. Now, what's, what else? Well, um, the next one is going to be the Z1, uh, and the Z1... Uh, is about three years out. It should be around 800 horsepower, two turbochargers. In sport, the C8 Z06 double overhead cam LT7 V8 engine. So that's going to be an interesting car. Whoa. And then the last one, probably the last one that will have any gasoline, they're going to take the front wheels of the E Ray and put them on the Zora. And the Zora is going to have the uh, soon to come Z06 high revving engine and twin turbos and that's going to be 
I'm told, I hear, around 1,000 horsepower. That thing's going to be the all-wheel drive and go like stink. Um, so there you have it. That's what seems to be on the horizon for the next eight years or so, or seven years. Um, what do you think? What do you think about uh, what do you think about the last of the gasoline engines in Corvette? Is that going to really suck? I know some people they don't like the sound of the new Z06. It's different. I particularly like it. I've heard it live, and I really, really like it. But there are some people that don't like it. So what's going to happen? I mean, uh, what do you think? Please uh, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like the video. And finally, beat the heat at the C8 Corvette meet and greet. Brownwood Paddock Square, the Villages, Florida. And you'll have a blast. Uh, a reminder, it goes from 8 to 10 in the morning. The market is open from 9 to 1, so you want to go to the market, you can go to the market. Uh, I think you'll enjoy that. The farmer's market is great. There's all kinds of homegrown stuff and homemade stuff there. Uh, also, if you have, a, if you just like Corvettes and you want to come up and see the cars, you're welcome. Come on up. If you have an earlier model Corvette, but you'd like to find out some information about the C8 Corvette, or you just want to see the C8 Corvettes, come on up. We'd love to have you. And so, you know, if you... If you want a Mercedes or something, you want to buy a Corvette, and you want to find out all about this car, all the owners will be here, and uh, they'll be there taking any of your questions and helping you out any way they can with information you would like to know about the C8 Corvette. Just leave a little parking area so all the C8s can kind of gather together, but you're more than welcome. There's tons of parking up there, so you don't have to worry about a parking spot. You don't have to worry about getting your door dinged or anything like that. It's really, really nice. So come and join us 8 to 10, Saturday, January 9th, Brownwood Paddock Square in the Villages, Florida. All are welcome. See you there.